is the Renogy Rego off-grid solar power system. I'm doing a test and review on this product for Renogy and for myself, and more importantly for you, so you can check it out. I can give you what I know about it, and then you'll have a little extra knowledge if it's something that you might be interested in for your off-grid project. If I don't cover the information you're searching for in this video, uh, I'll put links in the description where you can go, go on to the uh, Renogy website and have a closer look to look at specs and ratings and so on. This is basically just going to be an overview and then to show you how I've installed it in my off-grid workshop. This Renogy Rego system consists of five major components. A 60 watt MPPT charge controller, a 3000 watt pure sine wave 12 volt inverter, a uh, combiner box system, combiner box, I'll show you more about that here in a bit, a DC to DC 60 amp battery charger for a mobile or vehicle type installation where you have another DC source such as an alternator off of a motorhome or a or an RV. And then what I think is the most important part of this whole system is a 400 amp hour lithium ion battery. So you get 400 amp hours, that's 5,120 watt hour battery in one unit. And there's a couple of key items about this system that, that are supposed to set it apart from, from the other items that Renogy sells. One is the ability to hook everything up quickly and easily. So they've made it real simple for connection and you no longer have all of the tedious little items that you have in excessive wiring in order to hook the system up. I'll show you again more detail about that here in just a bit. And two is that battery, 400 amp hour battery in one unit. It's 112 pounds, so it's pretty hefty but it takes up 30% less space than four of Renogy's 100 amp hour batteries. At a later point, I'll end up making a few more videos about this particular system, using it and reviewing it. I can't give you a review on something I haven't actually had the chance to use yet. So let me uh, bring you in closer and we'll have a look at it. So here at the top of my particular setup is the 60 amp MPPT charge controller. And as you notice, there is no screen on this. There's five different settings that you can set up for different battery chemistries. I've got mine currently on lithium iron and no screen. I'll talk a little bit more about that here shortly. And then if you look at the bottom, you've got a couple of cables. This outer one here is for your uh, solar panel array. And then the one behind that goes directly to the battery. And these are with Anderson connectors. One of the main differences about this Renogy Rego system is you just have these pre-plugged, just plug them in, which is really nice actually. So you don't have to feed stripped wires in there and tighten them down with a set screw. And if you buy the complete Rego off-grid power system, it comes with the accessory pack that has these cables in there. So there's no cables to build or anything like that. These two ports right here are for an optional cable that does not come in the kit, but that way you could connect to an external monitor, which would be kind of nice. I think it's called the Renogy M1. I don't remember exactly, but something like that. And you can mount that like on this, on this panel or somewhere in your RV, and it'll allow you to be able to see the information from the entire system. Next was the Rego 3000 watt pure sine wave inverter charger. I think there's three separate ways you can charge your battery. One is the solar power. Two, if you've got this charger, you can plug into shore power and use this as a charger and it'll charge up to 75 amps. You can also connect a generator to this and use that as a power source. And that'd be pretty common for an off-grid homestead or an off-grid setup. So that'd be three different ways that you can charge this battery bank. And a couple of things that I've noticed that are different about this one is uh, these connections here for the input and the output. So 120 volt input if you're going to connect to a shore power and then the 120 volt output to power your shed, your shop, your RV or whatever you're going to power with it is they have these quick connect tabs. Put your wires in there and then clamp right back down. So you, again, no tools required. 
Here you can see the big 4 aught cables that go from the pure sine wave inverter down to the system combiner box. And it's just as simple as just plugging it in. It's got a big Anderson connector. I think that's a 350 amp. This one in the back here, 350 amp Anderson connector. This one here in the front comes from the charge controller. And that's what connects your char controller, charge controller to the battery or the battery bank. And again, it's a smaller Anderson. I think it's 150 amp. I don't remember but it just plugs in right there. Now, if you're gonna use it in a vehicle or an RV or something like that, this plug would be where you would plug in your DC to DC 60 amp charger. And that allows the alternator of your vehicle to charge your house batteries when you're traveling down the road. And when you're parked like in a boondocking situation, that DC to DC 60 amp charger will also take power from your house batteries and solar and go back into the, uh, the vehicle battery to make sure that it doesn't go dead on you. Say you're gonna boondock for 14 days or something like that and you don't plan on driving that vehicle once you got your camp set up, this should prevent your vehicle battery from going dead while you're just hanging out. And then that way when you get ready to leave or move campsites, your vehicle battery is gonna be charged and ready to go. Now this combiner box is kind of interesting. This is a 400 amp combiner box. You can run 400 amps of power through this thing. On the left side, you've got DC connections. And I've got a couple of eight gauge wires coming out of here, going up to this section right there, which is a DC fuse box. And that's gonna power all my DC items. And I've got some switches up there too. And I haven't got that all completely set up. So anytime you got, you got a battery connected in on this side, this will be hot. It's just a straight pass through, through this combiner box. And if you have a different battery, you're not using the uh, Rego style battery, this would be where you would connect your battery bank to the combiner box with just ring connectors. And then you've got three big fuses that go into this box. So it's all contained in one unit. And I'll show you some videos about putting those uh, fuses in there later. It's real simple. But there are big heavy duty fuse pop right in here. This is an 80 amp for the charge controller. An 80 amp goes here for the uh, 60 amp DC to DC charger that uh, charges from your alternator. And then this is a 400 amp for where the uh, connection from the inverter goes. And then you've got the heart of the system, which is this Rego 400 amp hour battery. Now this is a 5,120 watt hour battery, and this is a 12 volt only system. You can have additional combiners that will connect to this box, and you connect up to eight batteries. So that's a total of over 40,000 watt hours of battery storage, 12 volt system. So you could use this as a home power outage backup system to power your house if you wanted to. I think that this 400 amp hour battery is gonna be sufficient for what I'm doing in this off-grid workshop. But just to let you know, it is expandable and you can connect up to eight in parallel of these 400 amp hour battery packs. This, by the way, is also a heated battery pack I think down to minus 20, you can still charge and discharge from this battery without damaging the lithium battery cells. The battery, inverter charger, and the solar charge controller all have built-in Bluetooth. So you can access this on the DC Home app, and I'll show you a few clips of that here shortly. And that's how you can get access to all of the information that's going on within your system. And that's why there is not a screen on that MPPT 60 amp charge controller. The controls on this Renogy Rego 400 amp hour life pole battery are real easy. So let me show you all you really need to know about controlling the battery itself. So you can see we've got an on off showing you that this button is for on off. Shows you battery status, heater status, a battery status light, a heater status light, and then a battery level indicator. And there's four lights, four blue lights for the indicator on the, on the power level, and each light is 25%. So 
So two lights would be 50% charged. I turn the battery on, press this on off button for one second and then release. And that'll power up the battery, goes through a little blink sequence and now the battery is turned on. This particular battery came to me with about a 30% charge. It's showing 50% as far as the indicator lights. Two lights, 25 to 50%. And then you've got the heater on off function. If you want to turn the heater off or if you want to turn it on. And it is on from the factory. So let's go in there and I'll show you how to do that. Just press and hold the power button for eight seconds. The heater status light flashed red and then green and now it's showing solid green showing that the heater status is on. Press it once and that'll turn the heater status off. You can hold that for eight seconds and it will hold whatever setting you have it set at at the time. But I want the heater status turned on on this battery. It's winter time right now, late winter and it's still getting pretty cold in the off-grid workshop. So to turn that on Press it one time, it shows it's on, and then we'll hold this down for another eight seconds, and that will save that particular setting. And there we go, and the battery is still on. If you're getting ready to hook everything up, you want to make sure that this battery is turned off, which is what I'm getting ready to do here real soon. So let's go ahead and shut it off, and you just hold it for three seconds. Press and hold for three seconds, and it'll turn the battery off. flash of the lights and then once that's complete the battery is now off and that's all there is as far as adjusting the battery or making setting changes on the battery now here's a look at the fuses that come in the Rego systems accessory bundle it comes with 280 amp and then one 400 amp and it's really just a plug and play on these just fit them into the lid system there and then once you get it clipped in Close the lid and you're good. Move on to the next one and real simple process and real easy to do. Here's a couple of screenshots from the free Renogy DC home app. And this is the home page so you can see I've got three items here. Once you click on an item it'll go to the page for that particular item and this is a look at the front battery page for the 400 amp hour lithium battery. Click out of that, let's go look at the uh, 60 amp MPPT Rego charge controller. You can look at the stats, a couple other pages here for settings, and then one for history. So it'll show you a daily history of all this information, and you can go back and look at whatever particular day you're interested in as you sort through this app. But it's a really interesting system, and I'm excited about working with it. Let me back up here so you can kind of see how much space it takes up. Not a whole lot, really. So I'll be looking forward to uh, running some tests and running some of the items. I'm going to add more items into my off-grid workshop. As you can see, I still need to work on my uh, DC setup here. Maybe I want to run tools and even a welder. I think this 3000 watt pure sine wave inverter will definitely do the trick for that. Run a 110 welder. So I'll be doing some of that in my future videos. But I will put links in the description for all these items and the Renogy website if, if you're curious about it and you want to go check and search for more information other than what I gave you in this video. And I will also include a uh, a Renogy discount coupon code that they gave me just for my viewers and uh, you'll save 8% off your order and you don't have to have to buy the uh, Rego system necessarily I think that coupon code will be good for pretty much anything on the Renogy website and that's all capital letters DIY home is the code I'll put that in the description as well so check out the video on the screen now for another off-grid workshop project video and we'll see you over there.